My name is Mikel. Uh, I've been uh, asked to produce a drink that I've been proud of during my career. And uh, one of the drinks that uh, I won the first competition with was uh, with a single malt drink, the Whiskey Festival, the, um, the uh, London Live, things like that. So I like whiskey, especially single malt, because you don't actually care to, to mix a, a very expensive cognac in a Sazerac or a classic champagne cocktail, but when it comes to malt, then it become a very delicate subject. Uh, this competition I used to flavor some rosemary and things like that, making a little bit more aperitif style. So when usually you've got single malt, people tend to go for digestive after dinner. So and as well, I just come back from Isla when I was conducting some uh, mixing class and no one killed me. And uh, I like to keep it simple with fresh herbs and spices. So that's what I would like to introduce you to. Uh, this cocktail is called uh, Isla aperitif, like uh, Isla aperitif. Um, it's mainly also a cocktail that is designed to be able to be made at home because I like people to be able to share what we are doing. I don't think mixology is something incredible. I think once you understand how it works, people should be able to make it again. So I use some chartreuse and mixed vegetal, which is uh, technically this and uh, uncut. I believe still today that uh, this is the uh, oldest bitters that you can buy on the market. Mm. The Americans are not happy with what I'm saying, but if the definition of a bitters is herbs, macerated, and spices, etc., with a natural alcohol, then you've got it here. If you think as well about the medicine of the archives, that's what it was made for. Or just pour it over a sugar cube, which I transfer on an absinthe spoon. The original drink, I used to flame the rosemary with uh, some... Uh, I used to flame the rosemary with, uh, with some green chartreuse, but it tends to, to overpower. So I'd like to, uh, to flame my, uh, my sugar cube, so the sugar will be easier to, to get into my drinks. And also I'm gonna lose the strength, which is 71%. I don't want to have uh, too much flavor, I want to keep the malt, especially because I use Pena Harvey. It's an island malt, but it's like the black sheep of the island malt because it's unbeat it. So here, that's my sugar that is, uh, that is going on, flaming. And I use some thyme. I use some rosemary. So this is things that you can find in your garden. Also maybe it's good for food matching. And when I see my sugar like that, I'm just gonna transfer it into. So it's not about cooking the rosemary yet. yet. I'm gonna add some uh, fresh cherries that I found this morning in a, in a market. I just cut them a little bit to get the juice. Because I have no, I've got no sweetener. See? No. No sweetener. So with the juice of the cherry will be my sweet. And uh, my sugar will be my sweet too. So I've just got a lot of herbs and spices. And uh, something I, I like to play with, it's a uh, put on with bitters in a spray bottle. I was thinking that if you can flame a, a B52 with a uh, Grand Marnier at 40% ABV, so then on the straw I should flame at 42.7, which is uh, trying. But uh, I've been a little bit everywhere, and people like that. If you want to check out, like I can spray my exam, and I've got the equivalent of uh, four or five dashes. So I don't overpower my drink on the straw. Also, what you get is all the aroma that you cut. You burn the spirits, but you keep all the complexity of the herbs and spices that have been used to make on the straw bitters. So, this is flan, you can feel. This is gently just modeled just to get a little bit of juices. That's it, I don't want to cry, I don't care if I keep the pit because I'm gonna double strength. There we go. So that is technically just my, my modifying agents for my cocktail from now. Yeah. I like to keep it simple because when I was going to Isla, obviously people are traveling the world just to, to test their favorite drum. 
So the last thing you want to do is to do a pina colada with it. So I, I tend to, to keep it very simple. We think that actually, I think the guests, when you talk about flavors that they use every day in their cooking, it tends to be more related to whatever you want to create, because I can speak about apérol or benedictine, but it doesn't know what it is. But when I speak about rosemary or thyme, they know what it is. Uh, Bernard, good drum, make it two. Make it one. Good drums, good two. Twelve years old, just bench one. Very good, Isla Mart. And because it's unpitted, and uh, you know, you might not want to do the first drink with a single malt with our bag or something like that. Hey, you, the plus also, what else called is black bottle. It's technically uh, the blend of the seven Isla malt together with some grain whiskey. It's a scotch, it's not a malt. Hey, it's produced at the same distillery. So um, what I like with it, it is actually, as Bernard Harden is the black sheep of, uh, of the island malt because I'm pitted. This one is uh, the black sheep of the scotch because it is a very pitted. Uh, do you, if you want to try it, you want to share? What I like to do with it, it's a, uh, you, can, you can more or less control the amount of pits that you want into your whiskey so you can change the characteristic of Bernard Harden. So if you do, the job of the bartender is not to make a drink that you believe is the best, it's to make a drink that you believe people will enjoy drinking. So, how do you like your mouth? Do you like pity, not to pity? Because with that, I can actually tend to create a flavor, a bit, a bit of the taste. So we can try like a, um, 10 meals. 15 meals, as you wish. Over there, we've been playing on half and half, on full. It depends what people want to taste. Obviously, I need to get uh, everything into the drinks. I've tried to, uh, to infuse rosemary, to shake rosemary, to, to do everything, but uh, the best things I've found is actually to cook it a little bit like the barbecue process when you leave it on top of your steak. Um, I like to test my drink as long as it's not pour in a glass, like that I can always rectify it in case. <laughs> 